So you've just picked up your first Bofang UV5R, congratulations. Now you're probably wondering to yourself, how the heck do I program this thing? Well, I'm gonna show you how to program and save into memory both simplex frequencies and repeater frequencies, this time on KNMRD Radio Stuff. The first thing we're gonna look at is how to program a simplex frequency. Now it's important to note for all programming of the Bofang by the keypad, you need to make sure you're on the top or A band. So if you're not, if that little check uh, arrow is down on the bottom one, just go ahead and hit your AB and make sure that that arrow is on top. So let's say we wanna program the national simplex calling frequency for two meters. That's 146.520, so we're gonna type 146.520 into the keypad. Then we're gonna press the menu key and we're gonna go to menu 27. Now we can do that by pressing the up or down buttons, but we can also just press two and seven and that'll bring us right to menu 27. Then we're gonna hit the menu button. Notice it brings that arrow down and we can save this to whatever menu bank we want. Let's just go ahead and save it to menu zero or memory channel zero. We're gonna hit the menu button and you say it said receiving memory. We can hit exit. Now we can hit our VFO memory button and we'll see we have 146.520 programmed into our zero memory bank. Let's say we wanna program the 70 centimeter. It's gonna be exactly the same. So we're gonna go back to frequency mode. We're gonna type 446.000. We're gonna hit menu. We're already on menu 27. And we're gonna hit menu again to bring that arrow down. And we're gonna select channel one. Hit menu again. Now it's saved, we can hit exit. Hit our VFO memory button to go back into the VFO. And now you can see we have on channel one, 446, and channel zero, 146520. Now let's learn how to set up and save into memory a repeater frequency. So again, we wanna be in VFO mode. So make sure you're in VFO mode or frequency mode. And we're gonna go ahead and type in the repeater's output frequency. That's the repeater that you're gonna be listening to when the radio is just sitting here. So I'm gonna type in 147120. Then we're gonna hit the menu button and we're gonna set our shift, which is menu 25. So we can just type in 25. We wanna change this shift direction. So we're gonna hit menu. And in this case, this repeater has a plus offset. So we're gonna change this to plus. If it has a minus, you can change it to minus, but in this case, we're a plus. We're gonna hit menu again. That's gonna save that. Then we're gonna go up one and we need to set our offset. So again, we're gonna hit the menu button, bring that arrow down, and now we can adjust these numbers. And in this case, this has a 0006 megahertz offset. Hit menu. That's gonna save that. Next, we need to enter in our tone or CTCSS. So we're gonna hit menu. And the CTCSS is gonna be menu 13. Now, if you have a DCS, that's gonna be menu 12. So transmit DCS, transmit CTCSS. In this case, we have a CTCSS. We're gonna hit the menu button again, bring that arrow down. We're gonna set our CTCSS tone. In this case, it is 100. Hit menu to save. Now we can go to menu 27 and we're gonna save this into a channel and by hitting memory, remember bring that arrow down. We've already got zero and one saved, so let's go to channel two and we'll go ahead and hit menu. Receiving memory. Now that's saved, we can exit out of there and hit the VFO. Mode. Now we have our channel two saved, 147120 and when we key up, we can see we have the offset and we can also see that that CT is there letting us know that we have the CTCSS. You are gonna see that plus and minus offset. That's totally normal. That's just the way the Baofeng uh, shows that there is a shift on uh, the channel. Now that you've mastered programming the UV5R by hand, go ahead and check this video out where I teach you how to program the UV5R by Chirp, which also adds the ability to name your programmed channels.